This is Marissa Lenti, and you are about to watch a Dice Junkies gameplay video. This is Blood X, and welcome to another Dice Junkies gameplay video. As always, we hope you enjoy. Alright, this is Blood X coming at you with another Dice Junkies gameplay video. Uh, this is going to be a grounded smoothie update for the hot and hazy content. Uh, the uh, very first thing I want to show you is what the gum node looks like. Uh, you'll need a tier 2 hammer, which you can get from the black ant hill by farming the black ants. Now, once you harvest the gum node, uh, you'll get about three pieces of gum, which you can use to make smoothies, plus you can also use it to um, stop the haze from forming from the uh, weed killer 420 over there but um right now we're more interested in the smoothies so again you'll get about three pieces of gum which you can use uh, as a smoothie base now you'll also see some more nodules over there and you'll see some over at by the picnic table um, i've been making ramps to get up to them to make it a little bit easier to harvest uh, and they seem to be respawning in the same place thus far, which is definitely a good thing. The uh, next thing I want to show you is how to get to the mussel sprouts, because several uh, several of you have reached out in the comments wanting to know how to make a beefy smoothie. Uh, so I will show you where the mussel sprouts spawn in in the uh, underwater lab. Now, assuming that you've already completed the water lab and you've unlocked every uh, entrance, uh, you don't need uh, any special uh, swimming gear. You can go with your with your regular gear as far as getting down there. Uh, I did go ahead and place a uh, marker to know exactly which is uh, the green entrance, which is I can swim down there with anything, versus I've got some other ones over here which uh, detail the longer path, but you will need swimming gear for that path. Either way works. You can still get to uh, the area where the mussel sprouts spawn, and they're very easy to overlook, which is why I want to show you how to get to them. So again, just dive straight down to the entrance, which uh, again is really easy to, to locate. But placing a marker just makes it even easier to get to. And once you get into here... You can see here at the top we have this ring and around the ring are the mussel sprout spawn points. I recently harvested them so they're not there at the moment uh, but this is where you would pick them and uh, there's about 30 of them that will spawn in this ring. So even though I recently harvested them in uh, this video as you can see here in one of my older videos uh, this is what the mussel sprouts look like as you run around the ring and uh, harvest those for your uh, your smoothies. Alright, now that we've gotten back to the base and the smoothie station, let's go over the smoothie recipes and also the difference in the actual bases that you can use as far as building your smoothies. So the uh, first smoothie uh, base type is the grub goop, which you can get from, uh, from any of the grubs in the backyard. And it's just a normal basic smoothie with the effects of the smoothie that you create. And we'll go over the different smoothie recipes here in a second. The mussel sprout makes the beefy version of the smoothie. Now, while the basic smoothie has a duration of 120 seconds, uh, the beefy smoothie has uh, the same time frame, but it heals for double the amount that a smoothie would normally heal you for. The sticky smoothie uh, has all the benefits of the basic and the beefy smoothie uh, with the additional effects of doubling the duration of which will be 240 seconds plus you also have a regeneration effect on top of the double healing uh, so therefore it makes the uh, the sticky smoothie the preferred one once you're having enough gum harvested to where you can actually make all of them uh, sticky smoothies so we'll look at the different icons that you get depending on which a smoothie you create. So we'll do a basic liquid rage. We'll do a beefy liquid rage. 
and we'll do a sticky liquid rage. So if you look at my inventory, we have the basic version here, which uh, has no icon or marker, so, but it does show a different color, which would indicate that it's definitely a recipe smoothie, in this, in this case, liquid rage. The beefy smoothie has the icon of the Brussels sprouts, which look like a couple of uh, pink mushrooms on top of each other, but it's uh, the uh, muscle sprout icon. And uh, that way you can quickly identify which version of smoothie this is. And last one is going to be the sticky version. Uh, outside of the naming convention, you also see a piece of the chewed bubble gum that's associated with the icon as well. All right, now that we've gone over the bases, let's go ahead and go over the recipes of each of the different smoothie types you can create in Grounded as of the hot and hazy update. Now, if you have the items in your inventory, you can place them over here into the three little uh, recipe requirements boxes and you can make them manually. Or if you have them close by, you can use the close proximity uh, feature, which is uh, very helpful when it comes to crafting recipes, especially in large quantities. You can just press A as opposed to, have to having to make them manually. Um, so we'll go over the recipes and some of the component changes. Uh, the first one, uh, is green machine and this one gives you hyper stamina which is extraordinarily helpful when it comes to fighting actually I'll bring some of these when fighting the brood mother to help replenish my stamina quickly um, but this one did change it now has an algae requirement uh, a sprig and clover leaf and the algae can be found pretty much all over the pond um, to make a beefy version again just press the right trigger and you'll make a beefy version of the green machine so if we press A, you'll see we'll craft a uh, green machine, but it'll have a beefy variant, which you can tell by the little sparkles on the actual um, smoothie. Fuzz on the rocks is the next one. Uh, this one is Mike Fuzz Quartzite and Peblet, and it increases your health for uh, a, a short period of time. The Hedge Lord replenishes your uh, hunger and your thirst. Uh, this one is the same requirements as before, the aphid honeydew, the acorn bits, and the berry chunk. It's kind of helpful if you're doing a lot of building and you want to be able to use one item to replenish hunger and thirst. Other than that, uh, I don't see a whole lot of need for this one, but it is pretty uh, interesting. The fluid flippers. Uh, this one is actually uh, pretty sweet is as it increases your swim speed. So if you're wanting to get through any of the water areas pretty quickly, you can use this. And the requirement is a boatman fin, lily pad wax, and the eelgrass. With workers comp, you can carry 10 blades of grass or pieces of wood. Uh, the duration is extremely short. So I tried it a couple of times, but wasn't overly impressed with duration. If obsidian would uh, increase the duration of workers comp, uh, I would definitely use these a whole lot more but uh, it's so temporary that it doesn't really make it worthwhile. All right, the next one is uh, gastro goo, and this was really helpful in the haze, um, especially whenever you're running down there and your gas mass has either deteriorated or you don't have one. Um, so the gastro goo helps you a lot with not only the haze, but also if you wanted to go fight the um, sink bugs. So this one requires an aphid honeydew, a stink bug gas sack, and the fungal growth. And you can find the fungal growth also in the haze, both on mites and also on the weevils there. Boost juice. So boost juice increases your maximum stamina as opposed to the, uh, the green machine, which replenishes stamina more quickly. Uh, this one just gives you a higher stamina cap. And again, I would use this with Fuzz on the Rocks. Initially, if you fight the Brood Mother, I would pop both of them. But again, I realized that the duration wasn't really long enough to make it of a benefit. So I just, just bring green machines now. Uh, but the Boost Juice requires a raw aphid. So you will need to have one of those. Acorn bits and mushroom. All right. The next one, Liquid Gills. This one gives you additional air time while underwater. This is really helpful trying to get down to the water lab. So if you're able to find a water flea, uh, a tadpole, and cut some eel grass, uh, that would definitely recommend bringing these uh, as, uh, in addition to uh, your uh, dive bell cap and also your uh, flippers. 
Liquid Rage. Uh, this one increases your attack, and this one is very, very helpful, I think, especially when fighting your Broodmother. Uh, it will give you a temporary attack bonus. Uh, she is kind of tanky, so maybe you're having a couple of them in your uh, quick menu to be able to pop them and keep increasing your ability to do, do more damage is probably a good idea, especially when you fight her for the first time. So we'll go ahead and make one of those. Human food is the last one, and uh, this one gives you damage resistance. Uh, it's pretty helpful whenever you're fighting, again, uh, the brood mother, or if you're going after some of the more deadlier creatures like the wolf spider or even the bombardier beetles. Um, other than that, it's, uh, it's one of the ones that you have to really go and farm the components for, uh, which if you see my other video where they have new food spawning locations uh, to find your uh, apple pieces, your uh, cookie uh, sandwich pieces, and your billy hog nuggets. So we have a human food there. Um, that is pretty much the updated recipes for Grounded. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you found the content helpful. If you did so, please hit the thumbs up as it helps spread the channel for other viewers. As always, you can watch Dice Junkies live on Twitch at 3.30 Central Standard Time on Sundays. We also stream gaming content on Twitch throughout the week, so be sure to subscribe there as well. If you can, please go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're up to date on all the Dice Junkies content. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. They fucked my tomatoes up!